In conventional fixed-wing aircraft, the aerodynamic force of lift is provided by the main wing. The main wing must produce enough lift to carry the entire weight of the aircraft. Vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or VTOL, as they are commonly known, do not become airborne by relying on the lift provided by the main wing. If, for example, the aircraft with its fuel and cargo weigh 4,000 pounds, the aircraft must produce more than 4,000 pounds of thrust in a downward direction, in order to lift the aircraft into the air without relying on the lift normally provided by the main wings. Helicopters do this by rotating their wings over the aircraft to produce lift. In the case of VTOL aircraft that use ducted fans, like the Rigel aircraft, this must be done by producing thrust from four motors at each corner of the aircraft. The Rigel A's ducted fans can produce over 5,000 pounds of thrust to lift the aircraft in the air vertically. Once the aircraft is in the air, the ducted fans can then rotate along the water line of the aircraft, to begin propelling the aircraft to an airspeed that allows the main wing to bear the weight of the aircraft. The aircraft does the same thing in reverse, to slow down and stop so that it may land vertically, 